Hi, writers. Welcome back to the writer's room. We're in a little bit different environment, as you can see, because I am coming to you from the book tour, which I will be um, a bit this summer on various writer room days. And I'm so excited because I'm going to put it all together into some kind of a great um, workshop or masterclass for all of us on the kind of post pandemic book tour. But you can see this kind of weird reflection going on. I'm going to give you a view though outside my window. Um, we're going to be doing uh, one of our book events tomorrow in New York City. And I'm so excited to be here. And I want to talk about the importance of not doing of spaciousness in our brain, of traveling, or if you're not traveling, stopping the just get the next thing done, get the next thing done, the kind of taskmaster energy that I know I've been in a lot. I'm going to fully cop to it. Um, I've been in that a bunch the last two months because we've had great things going on in our business. A lot of things happening with two books coming out this year, one now and one in the fall. So it's all great. And I'm so, so grateful that I get to do this work and I get to practice what I teach, which is to remember that um, there's a statistic in who, not how, and um, I love this book. And um, one of the things that I know we all know this, but I just want to, I just want to presence it because we can go, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I know it's good to drink water. I know it's good to drink water is not the same. Like knowing it and doing it is not the same. And I have to call myself on that. So, um, so on this day of independence, on this summer of time when we're invited to more freedom and creativity, we've just had the longest day of the year. We're celebrating independence and, um, wishing for freedom on all levels for people all around the world, because we're not seeing that everywhere, right? So I want to read the statistic is that research shows that only 16% of creative insight can happen when we're working. Okay. And so working can also be working at running our families, working at tending to our homes, working at taking care of people, working at anything that, you know, we do for work, working at writing even, right? 16% of our creative ideas are divine downloads. They, that's, that's it, only 16% can even happen when we are working, when we're busy, when we're doing. And remember in the Science of Getting Rich for Women, which is this book tour this summer, the very first step in the magic equation of achieving that, that richness of life, of creativity, of success, of inspiration, of joy, of all the riches is being. And so when we're doing all the time, only 16% of our ideas can happen there. So what I'm inviting you into this week, whether you're traveling, taking time off, sticking with what you're doing, whatever it is, um, see if you can work in some unstructured time. See if you can take that longer walk, that longer nap, that just stroll through a neighborhood you've never been in before and give yourself the space to get that next big download. Your answer is waiting for you there, right? Your next solution, your next idea, your next, whether it's the next, what to write in the next chapter or how to put your new business idea together or how to create the book tour you want find the people you're here to serve. It can't come when we're doing all the time. So I'm calling myself out on this 100% and I'm inviting you in on this week of freedom and creativity to remember that if your mind kind of goes, you need to be working, you need to be working. So wait a minute, my next big idea is waiting for me when I actually let go and open up space. So I'm going to leave you with this incredibly inspiring view. Um, let's take a little walk with me and I hope you can see right outside. Oh no, I hope the glare isn't too big. Hold on. Maybe I'll just have to take a picture. Um, the Empire States building is right outside. Can you get it? Yes. There it is. Look at that right there, right there. So if you love New York, if you love cities, um, give yourself the gift, look at something online. If you're not traveling, have, have space this week even if it's just for the littlest little bit of just a few moments, have space to let that next big idea come in. I'll see you next time in the writing room.